This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. That's Alex, that's me in the white, the ramble, and we go until midnight tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, guess who's here? Steve Kravitz. Hello, Stephen. How you doing? I'm doing very well. How are you, Alex? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, uh, I got my new cap here. I got U.S. Open for this year. Marjorie. Oh, always, yeah. Oh, Look Marjorie, at that. Marjorie always buys me a cap for the U.S. Open every year, so I have them for like every year since... For the last ten years, so, really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, how are you doing? You doing okay? Yeah, yeah. I went to a minor league baseball game on Friday, oh, on Sunday. You told me you were going to go to the baseball game. How was it? I sat in the front row. Yeah. Right behind home plate. Wow. Right behind home plate. I mean. And you were lucky because you could do that since there was no one else in the stadium. No, that's not true. It's full. <laughs> it was full. Yeah, really. Oh. Yeah, minor league baseball. It's big here in Worcester. Well, it's their inaugural season. Yeah. The Woo Sox. They call them the Woo Sox? Yes. Oh, okay. And and who are they? Uh, are they a, a farm team for somebody? The Red Sox. The They're Red actually Sox. the Worcester Red Sox. The, the Worcester Red Sox. Oh, and they call them the Woo Sox. I see. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah. that's nice. Yeah. Oh, that's good. And this they, is the uh, third game I've gone to. And they, do they play pretty good baseball? Yeah, it's AAA. It's AAA. It's right before the majors. Okay. These are all the people who are, like, waiting to get called. Right. 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 And these are all the guys that years later will go, well, I was in the minors. I almost made the majors. Right, right, right. This is a, a step below the majors. Yeah, so, I mean, when they're going out to get new baseball players for the Red Sox, do they come and look at that team? They look more at AA because they look at potential, whereas AAA, they think they've kind of peaked. So maybe what, you see, what you see in AAA is you see a lot of guys from yeah. the Boston Red Sox rehabbing in AAA. Uh, oh, doing what? Rehabbing. What's rehabbing? Rehabilitation. Oh, really? Like an injury. Oh, no, not oh, like, oh okay. Not like, uh, not I, thought, like, uh, I, I thought when you said rehabbing, all I could think of was they all had a drug problem. Right, right. I have to clarify that. Yeah. It, it's for <laughs> physical injuries. Wow. Well, that's pretty good, you know? Yeah, so that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Got together with the whole family on, on Saturday. That was a lot of fun. They played paintball where they, like, Threw the paint at each other. They threw the paint. Right, they threw the paintballs, and they were a mess. Wait a I minute, mean, wait, they were covered wait, from wait head to toe in paint. Wait a minute, they didn't actually have paintball guns. Right, they just threw the little pellets. They, they threw the paintballs. Right. Huh. And they all wore white t-shirts. Yeah. And at the end of it, it looked like a Grateful Dead concert. It looked like all tie-dye. <laughs> now, is that all washable? Yes. Yeah, okay. Supposedly. Yeah. In, in, in theory, it's all washable. Yeah, but I, I don't know why you don't go with the paintball guns. They're, they're fun. Well, because then you got to wear helmets and goggles and oh, gloves. Oh, I see. Yeah, and... with this, pretty much, you're, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is so no, nobody gets hurt. Do you ever remember laser tag? Yes. I thought that was a pretty good idea. In fact, they came out with home kits where you could oh, actually yeah. you could actually play laser tag at home, and uh, you wore these little things on you that like a mess. yeah, where where people had to try and hit you, you know, right. and then you would do a little laser tag. And it was completely harmless. There's no paintballs. There's nothing, you know, except light. And I, 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 it's I still th going on, Alex. I think it's still going on. Really? Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm just an old guy, and I don't know where the closest laser tag is. Well, neither do I, but I see commercials for it. Well, you're an old guy too. So, 
Oh, thanks. Thanks, Alex. No, you're younger than me. You're a punk compared to me, but you're still old to... Let me put it this way. If you went out to a bar and there were a lot of old 30-year-old women, okay? I wouldn't stand a chance. You'd be old, okay? Right, right. Icky old. I I knew I was getting old, and this was years ago. Years ago. I was in my 40s. When I came on to a woman and she said, uh, uh, are you married? And I said, no, I'm not. She says, you're available? I said, yeah. She says, I got a mother at home I think might be interested. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you later. Right, 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 right. That's all she wrote, you know. That's life, Alex. Yeah, yeah. uh, Those were the good old days. Yeah, we had our opportunities when we were young. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and it, I, 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 I don't feel bad about it, okay, that right. it doesn't exist anymore because I had a really good time. Oh, yeah. While so I was I. going at it, and I, I probably uh, bedded down more lovely women and, and intelligent women yes. in my time, and I don't regret any of it. I would regret it today because they'd probably charge me with rape or something. You know, right, right, right. Yeah, or, or uh, yeah, the woman who would just be not satisfied. Uh, yeah. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm going to bring this up. I did this. I talked about this last night, and nobody tended to agree with me, but I just am kind of befuddled by what's going on with Andrew Cuomo. Okay. Oh yeah. And what right. befuddles me is the most recent thing, and you're going to love this is they they keep saying well there's a state trooper you know that he came on to and she says she says she was groped and everybody goes oh yeah and she's a state trooper well i mean what makes her so honest because she's a state trooper right 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 right. they lie all the fucking time you know right and they used to single out black people when they were giving tickets so don't don't give me state troopers unimpeachable here's what happened Okay, uh, and and it, it was an, it, just fascinating. Uh, wait a minute, hold on a second. He, um, according to this, now wait a minute, where is it? Oh, I, I lost it, I guess. Is that the one where he reached under her shirt and, 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 and groped her? No, this is, this is the other groping of the state trooper, the unimpeachable state trooper. Right. Uh, the governor, right? placed his finger on the back of the trooper's neck, standing behind her in an elevator to Manhattan at his Manhattan office, tracing a path to her spine with the two-word narration, hey, you, uh, is that rape? Is that groping? What is that? I, I don't know what that is. That's you know, just some guy trying to hit on some girl. Well, that's what we used to call it, but I guess you can't hit on a girl anymore because you they 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 say they're looking into, especially in that case, criminal charges. I mean, if that's criminal charges, then in my lifetime I would have gotten the death penalty. You know? Yeah, I would have been right behind you. Yeah. To tell you the truth. I mean, what is what is the line between flirtation and and molestation? And I think it's a pretty wide berth there. And right. This it's very to, subjective. What this amounts to is flirtation. Maybe unwanted flirtation, but flirtation nonetheless. Right, 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 right. I think if it's unwanted, that's when you start crossing the line. Well, they say they say unwanted, but that's... How, how can I put it? That's subjective. Maybe right, at, well, it's all subjective, Alex. At the moment, how unwanted was it? And now that there's a possibility you can sue him for money, how, how uh, 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 right, unwanted right, right, was right. it? You know? I mean, I just don't understand it, that we're equating what he did in the same category as Harvey Weinstein. Or right. in the same category right. as Bill Cosby, or in the same category as any number of people. I think what it does is it diminishes what a sexual assault really is. Right, you know, right, 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 Which is right, horrible right. and terrible. But let's not right. diminish all the women who've truly been molested in their lifetime, who truly right. have been raped, 
by equating what he did with that. And then, oh, we, we have to throw him out of office. And then you get all these politicians lining up because they don't want to, they want to seem like they're real heroes with their constituents. Right, 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 right. Even Biden called for his res resignation. And for all these people that are calling for his resignation, nobody's asked the New Yorkers what they feel. Right. You know, I'm sure if he ran tomorrow with all this baggage, if he ran tomorrow, he'd get reelected. You think so, huh? Absolutely. He's doing that good of a job. He's doing that good a job. Yeah. I mean, really? he, I I like to say I make the quote all the time. He saved my life. How's that? By attending to the COVID situation. Oh, okay. In the way right. that he did and taking the highest level of infection anywhere in the country I mean it was so bad they were setting up tents outside of hospitals okay right to the lowest in the country or the third right. lowest I mean come on and that was all through him getting on the air every day and giving a pep talk and telling people what was going on and we relied on him and right. he did his job right and really right. that's what should count is him doing his job you know, I mean, if he did something horrible like rape one of these women, which he didn't do, if he did anything that was, would scar them for the rest of their lives, I would say, okay, go after him. But none of right. these cases approach that. I mean, let me ask you a question. How many times have you been on a date with a woman? You're in the car, you're kissing a little bit, and you right. stick your hand under her under her sweater uh, uh, to see and to see that's that's kind of you investigating whether she's interested, right, 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 right. and and then you then if she says, uh, pardon me, don't do that," you right. simply would move your hand. You away. don't do that. Okay, so what is that? Is that groping? Is that flirtation? What is that? You know, I want a redefinition of all these things. They redefine. Well, if you're already kissing. You know what I mean? That's pretty yeah. intimate right there. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Kissing is very intimate. That's why prostitutes don't kiss. Yes, you're right. You're absolutely right. But the other thing is, he moved his hand up some woman's blouse. Right. Know. How do you do that without first getting a little flirtatious? In other words, feeling the, the moment out, okay? I mean, would you just go up to a woman and stick your hand up her blouse? No, I don't think so. No, I don't, I don't want to get smacked. And he only did it, he only supposedly did it this once, which means it isn't something he did all the time. Right, you right, know, right, right. I mean, there were people like Harvey Weinstein who would invite women up to his place, up to his room, and then he would say, I'm going to get comfortable and take my pants off. Right, You know, that kind right. of thing. And then eventually he would he would actually wind up doing what we would define define as rape. Right. Okay? Right. Uh, I agree with those who say, well, if you're using your power to get laid, um, that's wrong. But you know, my question is, what is power? If they have, if their job is dependent upon you, this is what they're arguing with Cuomo. Their job right. is dependent upon you, then you're using your power to get laid. Right. Okay. Right, right, but right. Apparently, he didn't get laid in any of these cases. He just touched the woman. In most of these cases, it was verbal, you know? Right. Boy, that's a hot dress you're wearing today. Oh, I'm so upset. It's, it's going to scar right. me for the rest of my life. I, I don't know. I mean, I my feeling is if you ask the people of New York, do they want this guy to be governor? He's being real. There's an election next year. Can't you wait? Right. You know? Right, right, right. Let the people of New York decide. I'm telling you right now, I'd vote for him. You know? Uh, but uh, I I just, I don't like this, this lynch mob that has gotten up behind him. You know, Biden and Schumer and Gillibrand. She's terrible. Right, I right, mean, what right. She did to, what she did to Al Franken was... It just I will never I'll vote I'll vote for a goddamn right wing uh, gun toting asshole before I'd vote for Kirsten Gillibrand okay is that right oh yeah what yeah. did she do to Al Franken she was the one who started the lynch mob saying after he 
had took that picture pretending like he was grabbing a woman's breast in a plane. Right. Um, that he resigned, and she she forced him to resign. She was she was the main lead on this whole thing of saying, "Oh, he's got to quit. He's got to leave the Senate. That's not the kind of person we want in the Senate." First of all, he was maybe the most liberal of right. all the of all the Democrats. Okay. Now, did he actually grab somebody's breast, or was it Photoshop? It was no. It was a gag photo they took. Oh, okay. With this one, she even said it was a gag photo. He didn't actually grab her breast. But they took right. a photo of her like she was asleep, okay, and he was about to grab her breast. Okay. That was all. Does that mean you have to leave the Senate because you took a photo like that? Well, apparently it does. Well, Kirsten Gillibrand forced him out. And ever right. since then, I've hated the woman, just hated right. her. And here she goes again. You know, I mean, right. and the trouble with the Democrats is something like this. See, if this happened to a Republican, all the Republicans would be standing up for Cuomo. Oh, yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. But the Democrats, they have a wonderful ritual called let's eat our own. Right. You know? And Kirsten Gillibrand gets hungry every now and then. And she has to eat her own. Now, what state is she from? New York. She's a senator from New York. Oh, is that right? And then that hack Schumer went along with her. Yeah, he's got to resign. Right. And the mayor of New York, who hates him, said he's got to resign. Uh, it it really is, uh, you know, it it's a terrible mess in which I think, yes, he probably didn't act properly. All right? Right. Uh, I'll tap him on the wrist for that. Hey, bad boy, you, you know, you weren't acting properly. But I don't think any of these women, no matter what, will be scarred for life because of this. You know, like some of the it's women. Just the, it's the temperament of the country right now. It's the zeitgeist, as they call it. Yeah. 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 It's the tone of the times. And I mean, I think, you know, let's reserve this kind of outrage for right. Harvey Weinstein. I mean, I've seen the record of Harvey Weinstein. It's horrible. Everybody knew in Hollywood that he was doing what he was doing for years, and you know it was uh, it was it was pretty egregious. Right. Uh, what what uh, uh, Bill Cosby allegedly did was drug women, and then while they were passed out, have sex with them. Which you know, uh, I, I'm sorry, I like my women in some kind of a lucid state so I can hear yes. them go ah, you know. Right. 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 You, you right. Know, I, but that is terrible. That is horrible. That is just so egregious. It goes beyond horrible. You know. Right. So right, you right, go to right. these cases, and yes, these people should be should be taken care of, prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Didn't Cosby get out of jail on a tech? Yeah, on a technical. Yeah. But putting your finger on somebody's neck and moving it down their spine and saying, "Hey, you," what what is what is that? Is that is that with the same thing Harvey Weinstein did, the same thing Bill Cosby did, you know? No, does it, no, it, but... If he's going to be punished, does he need to be punished in the same way these people were punished? You know, I mean... Well, I don't think he has to serve jail time, but he may, they may, they're going to probably force him out of office. Well, yeah, but I'll tell you, they got on me last night because I've said this about, you know, Louis C.K., great, yeah. com great comic, and a nice guy. Uh, he d no longer can get work because he got accused by three women who were comedians who came up to his room and then he said, do you mind if I pull my penis out? And none of the women said no. But so they didn't say yes. They didn't say yes, but they didn't say no. He asked for permission and none of them said no. None of them said, well, I'm sorry, I can't put up with this, I'm leaving. Right. He sat there and pulled his penis out while they stared at it. Well, he just can't work anymore. What, for being a gentleman and asking permission? Well, <laughs> come on, it's still kind of odd. Oh, it's odd. And it's strange. I mean, is, is that something you would ever do? It's not something well, I would ever no, do. because I don't want to show my penis to a bunch of anonymous women, you know? Right. But... Uh, at least he didn't just pull it out. He asked ahead of time, which gave people a chance to leave if they wanted to. 
So, you know, you have to give a little responsibility to the women who wouldn't leave the room. And yet his whole career is like, and is that on the level of Bill Cosby? Is that on the level of Harvey Weinstein? No. 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 No way. So uh, it, it's it's not even, maybe it's a little more egregious than, uh, than, uh, than Cuomo. Cuomo didn't pull out a penis. Cuomo didn't have sex with any of these women. Most of them were just based upon comments he made. Right. You know, one woman says he put his hand up my blouse. Another woman said, you know, he put the finger on the neck and moved it right. down. And, and, and that's, the, that's the crux of it. Do you really think he should be thrown out as governor for that? Do I think so? Yeah. No. 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 Uh, if, you, if you want to tap him on the wrist, say, bad boy, this was not good behavior. Stop that. Right. Or we want to hold an investigation into the toxic environment in your office. I guess. Right, 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 right. That would be, I think, quite appropriate. Now, yeah. these women looking to get compensated? Yes. Well, motivation, right? Yeah, but, you know, I mean, it, it, how, how far does it have to go? You know, I, I don't get it. I, don't, I really don't get it. And it, maybe it's just me. I'm an old guy and I'm living by old rules. But, I, I'm, you know, I have my, I had my, you know, idea of what I, how I handled things. I never wanted to make any woman feel uncomfortable with anything right. that I did. Okay. Uh, but I would sometimes come on to them. And then if they looked like they weren't interested, then I backed off. Right, right. You know. But but just that approach of coming on to them. If if I were Cuomo, it would be one of the women complaining about me right now. Oh, absolutely, you know? absolutely. So where where does flirtation end and molestation start? You know, that's the question. And, uh, Alex, that's so subjective. Yeah, I mean, you come know? on, the guys are going to be flirtatious with women. You know, I asked my wife, uh, Marjorie, I said, if Cuomo came on to you, what would you do? I said, I'd let him keep coming on to me. She, uh -huh. she said, you know, good looking guy, right. great, per you know, terrific personality, a real masculine Italian personality. She said, I'd, I'd, I'd probably let him go ahead, you know. But how's he gonna find out whether somebody's interested or not without getting flirtatious? Yeah, but I wouldn't stand me sign a woman I didn't know and rub my, put my finger on her neck and rub it down her spine. No, but this was a woman he knew. This was a state trooper who was guarding him all the time. Oh, so he knew her well. He knew her well, yeah. Well, that's different. No, I wouldn't take it, you know, I wouldn't do it to a, I don't think he even would have done it to a stranger. Right. You know. But, you know, what was wrong is that he, he, he was stupid. He, was, he crossed boundaries. Well, he was stupid. It's like he has no boundaries. Well, he had to know that he was being stupid because you just don't do that sort of thing if you're in the position he has. Okay. You don't do that kind of thing anyway. Well, I mean, but getting flirtatious in your no, 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 no. That's not really standing behind a woman and yeah, that's your first move is to put you. Your finger on her neck and, and, and slide it down her spine? Yeah. That's your first move? Well, I guess that's his move. I don't know. You know. No. No. I, I would never do that. Well, I would never do that. You you know, but the question is, does it rise to the level of molestation? Does it rise to the level of sexual aggression? Well, like you said, in in his office, he created an atmosphere that was not conducive to women. No, that was not. Well, he is they say a toxic atmosphere. I hear. Right. I hear he was a piece of shit to work for. I hear I he, he was just a tough guy. You know, right. he ran the place like it was his fiefdom. Uh, right. Uh, and I can understand why people don't like him, and why it, now that there's a chance to go get him, they're doing it. Sure. See? Wouldn't you? But because he he wasn't a, a great boss is not the reason to, you know, say, well, we're looking at criminal charges. What, for moving your finger down a guy, a woman's spine, and saying, hey, you? 
Oh boy, let's give him life in prison for that one. Well, it's just that one. I think it's community service. I think it's too much. Okay, I just think it diminishes what rape is and what molestation is and what you know that kind of thing is. Right, and, right, and and it's uh, it's terrible. You know, but anyway, I don't know. So everybody's mad at me because I, I'm, I'm defending uh, Andrew Cuomo. And I'm defending him because I think he's a good governor and he should stay governor. And if you want to yell and scream at him and you want to file uh, uh, a sanction against him, go ahead. Right. You know. Right, but, right, uh, right. Don't push him out of office. He's done too good a job. And uh, it, what these things do not rise to the level of, of sexual assault. Okay, under any conditions. So right, you know. right. They just make it like a to like you said, a to toxic atmosphere at the workplace. Yeah, the, the, he certainly doesn't have people who like him. Right, right. And so this is their chance to get even. There you go. Yeah, and I think that should not be the reason for us to say, okay, he should be out of office. You know, I've read everything that they've said he did, and it it's it's amazingly minor. So, right. So I don't get it. I don't get it. Hey, listen, you know, we've already eaten up 25 minutes. And really? Yeah. Always, always nice to talk to you. Always I, good to talk to you, Alex, yeah. and to the people at home. If I stopped doing my show at any point every night, I would still do these with you and post them on the, on the web. Right, really, right, right, they're, right. They're really good. Take care of yourself. We'll see you next week. Thanks, Alex. Ladies and gentlemen. Bye, folks. His name is Steve Kravitz. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Alex. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. That's a rerun of Stephen Pearl and Stephen Kravitz, not Pearl. <laughs> I got I got to get Pearl back on here. We haven't uh, done that in a while, uh, and we should actually. Uh, but uh, anyway, um, we haven't done that in a while, and we, we should. Uh, so anyway, uh, we're a little out of sync here, aren't we, tonight? We shouldn't be, because, uh, well, anyway, I don't care. I had a problem at the beginning of the show tonight, uh, and I don't know if any of you noticed it, but uh, uh, we got on a little late. Here's the reason why. I use this, okay, this uh, little thing here, right, uh, to um, uh, run the other machine that plays all my little music and the, uh, the spots and so on. And as I went to reach for it, it fell on the ground, slid across the floor, uh, the batteries fell out, and I couldn't find it. And the show is now on the air, and we're... <laughs> We're moving forward with the show, and I can't. I we just got dead air, and I can't find this damn. I finally found it, uh, and uh, here it is. So, uh, things just one thing after another, and then of course the fact that I'm a little bit out of sync, and I shouldn't be here. I don't know why we are, but we will. Uh, we will just uh, live with this a little bit, and uh, hope that uh, we're okay. Oh, well, maybe that's a little better. Yeah. There we go. Anyway, it's really time for us to go over to uh, our uh, citizen panel and uh, talk to the people there as we allow them to come in. And there are a whole bunch of them waiting tonight, which is kind of nice. Uh, let me see here. Who, who do we have so far? Uh, we've got, uh, we've got, uh, oh, we got Trucker Steve. Hello, Steve. How are you this evening? Good. Okay, he's fine. And uh, there's Kevin. And there's Alan. Ooh. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, uh, Alan, and there's uh, Charlie Wallace, and uh, Josh is joining us on a on a Thursday. Josh, Ooh. you get a bonus night, I guess. You get a bon I get a boner night. Did you say? <laughs> no, no. I said you get a bonus night. Yeah, I guess so. What you do yeah. with it is your business, son. <laughs> what people do in the privacy of their own home. Yeah, it's still constitutionally protected yeah, for yeah. more weeks. Yeah, but I, uh, I just, I, I, you know, I went uh, um, uh, <clears throat> this whole thing with my with my mouse. Have you ever had this happen where something falls on the floor and you just can't find it? 
Yeah. And in this case, I needed it immediately. <laughs> You know, and finally I found it, and part of it had fallen off, but I got it back <coughs> together again, and we got on the air. That's just, what is all that noise? Don't know. Where's it coming from? It's, I don't, it's not coming from, uh, yeah. This? What? Yeah. Ah. Well, it's my squeaky chair. I'll just mute myself again. Well, I'll Damn it. I'll tell you what Just call do. me Ray. No, 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 no. What you got to do is turn your microphone down a little bit. It's on the high side. Okay, um, so just, uh, uh, Kevin, turn. Oh, no, no, you don't have to leave us. You can just turn it down. <laughs> turn your mic. Hello, my name is Kevin, <laughs> and I am a screaming asshole. Go ahead, keep keep doing that. <laughs> oh, oh. Anyway, and we've been joined by uh, by Jeff. Okay. And, uh, and and hey, John Larkin's here. Hello, yeah. John. We haven't seen you in a while. How you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. I um, tested positive for COVID uh, oh. yesterday, yeah. Well, well, congrat but I feel fine. Con congratulations for passing yeah. the test. We uh, yeah. really think that's wonderful. You know. But I, I'm, I'm quarantining, so. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Well, can we catch it from him, uh, Alan, from him uh, being? Uh, <laughs> no, no. Okay. All right. Well, if you Only could. if you're in Hollister. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> Dr. Fauci says you can, so. Yeah. Okay. Put a mask on that camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How did we you were get it? We about How? ushers last night, and here the usher is alive. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But no, but my, que my question is, uh, um, um, John, uh, how did you get it? Now, the thing is that the fact that you got it is not unusual. Everybody I know is getting it. You know, we heard about a friend of ours who's in a nursing home who got it, and now you got it. And uh, how many people here know somebody who's gotten it recently? See? Uh, so I, you know, I, it just doesn't, it's a gift that just keeps on giving, doesn't it? You know, yeah. uh, uh, and Jeff is down there. He's in Florida. Uh, move your camera uh, a little bit so we can see you, Jeff. Gilroy was here. Yeah, sick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, no. Uh, 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 there we go. There we go. <coughs> uh, have you? Do you know anybody down in Florida who's gotten COVID? Jeff. Jeff. Earth calling Jeff. Yeah, I gotta turn it off. Nobody that I know. Nobody that you know. Can you hear that? Okay, good. Hi, Pam. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Pam is his That's tech. Good. Hi, Pam how is, are you? Pam is his tech support. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we uh, have real crappy, real crappy internet here. So really, because it's, it, you, the picture looks great. You know, it Maybe looks you terrific. Can get away from the air conditioner. Yeah. Yeah. Could yeah. Maybe it's higher. Hey, you know something? We got a topic tonight for Josh Wheeler. Ooh. Well, because he's he's always he's like the expert on the Supreme Court. Yeah. And uh, what do you think of all of this, uh, Josh? Um, I mean, I was surprised to hear that uh, Justice Breyer decided to retire. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know people have sort of been pushing him to, so makes a little sense but uh that's kind of surprised i didn't know how long he's there or anything but uh you know i think he was just getting um i think he was just getting tired of the situation the court's in constantly the last couple of years it's become really uh just everything they do anymore you know with these fights over everything is just so blown out of proportion and you know it's a it's it's a really misunderstood institution. You know, a lot of people don't know a lot about it. And, uh, you know, they, they do things sometimes that people don't like, even though that's probably really what they were supposed to do and all that. It just becomes such a fight. Um, and I, 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 I know a pretty good bit about him and, uh, you know, he's written a couple books that I've read and, uh, <clears throat> I've seen him speak. And I've seen, you know, I mean, um, on video, I, I've seen, you know, probably a hundred 
book talks that he gave or, or just lectures at law schools and, and stuff like that. And I know that he really, really cared about the court a lot. And he, he, he really cared about its, you know, its judicial independence and, uh, and things like that. And he really believed that the court was the anchor that made sure that Americans didn't you know, as he always said, settle their differences in the streets with guns, you know, which is a little crazy right now because, you know, on January 6th last year, we came as close to that as we've come in, you know, since the 1860s, right? Mm -hmm. um, and we're still kind of slowly heating the water in that pot, you know, to a boil <laughs> on our national stove and mm -hmm. i think that maybe he's just tired of it i mean that's just my conjecture there i don't know if that's really how he feels but I, I think that maybe he is because i think he feels like their work is just not being accepted right now i mean you know it used to be i mean for example you know like biden uh the biden administration and the president lost their osha case a few weeks ago, right? And the mm -hmm. president just came out basically immediately and said, well, you know, okay, that's what we got to do then, right? You know, and that's the way that it's supposed to be. And, you know, I think, I'm not saying, you know, Trump obviously uh, complied with a couple of the court orders that went against him, but he had to act like a three-year-old in the process, you know, and that didn't help anything. And, you know, I just think Justice Breyer was maybe getting a little tired of it. Hmm. It's a hard job. Yeah. Uh, I think, you know, it wears on people. And um, I don't know. I don't know how old he is. I'm sure they've said this week a couple of times. And I don't even remember I how think, old he is. I think is they he? said he was 84, 85. Okay. I mean, 82. you know, I mean. 82. 80, 82. Okay. So, yeah. you know, at some point, shit, oh, man, old. I mean, he probably, I mean, I don't really even think that that's, you know, like elder, you know, really old. I mean, I just think that he just. He probably says, you know, man. Yeah. Maybe I should watch this Judge Judy thing everyone's always talking about before yeah, I die. Well, I'm, uh, I, yeah, I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm 82 years old, and I'd, I'd like to retire here, but I have to wait till Biden appoints in a, a successor. So, well, yeah, uh, right. Yeah, I can... So, I mean, you know, I just, I just think he was tired. But I'll tell you what, I mean, he, he was kind of always, you know, maybe my favorite of the justices you know in a lot of ways for sure mm -hmm. and i think what he landed to the court over the last couple of decades was important and you know he could be counted on for you know as a defender of mm -hmm. people's individual freedoms and rights even though people on both sides are never going to see it eye to eye um you know but i think he'll leave a a legacy is a fair person who really worked hard to make sure that people understood that whether you liked the court's decision or not, it was incredibly important that what the court said was what, what happened, you know, because like, again, like he always said, without that, what, what do you have? I mean, the only other alternative really is is violence i mean you know and we we can turn on our televisions and see that in countries at various times all around the world and none of us want that i mean well who do you i don't want yeah. i don't want yeah. that do you have any idea who we should appoint no you know i really don't i i mean i heard you guys talking about it a little bit last night because i just watched last night's show a little bit earlier and um you know, I don't like this whole thing about coming out well before any of this and saying, well, you know, if this if there's an opening, I'm I'm going to do it from, you know, this and this. I mean, I, look, I, I have mean, no did you problem. did you think it was a good idea for him, even when he was running for office, to say yeah. he was going to appoint a black? No, woman? I don't. I don't really like that. I mean, I mean that's hardly affirmative. I, don't, I that, mean, I'm a that hardly I'm rises. A, a, wait a minute. That hardly rises to the level of affirmative action. Right. <laughs> you know. Yeah. I mean, look, I, I don't. I'm a department manager where I work, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I run a huge section of our site. A lot of people work for me and everything. 
And it, I mean, it just wouldn't make any sense for me if, if the site manager said, well, you know, if you ever quit, I'll get a black woman to replace you. I mean, you mean you won't look for whoever can do, I mean, I guess that's your well, choice. Well, you can but, think I mean, it. What, what sense you, does you, that you make? Can, I mean, you can think it. Okay, and that's fine. And you can even yeah. you can even upon thinking about it, make There's sure that when you do appoint somebody, it's based on that. Well, you notice in his uh, in his comments today, he did he did change his tone a little bit and say that he didn't mention who it was going to be, but he did he mentioned a black, but he said he's going to pick the best person for the job. Yeah. And then he mentioned the black woman yeah Wait, so he's trying to he's trying to mix it up wait, wait, a little hold bit. on a second uh, t pam, uh, pam turn off the mic if you're going to talk to each other uh, yeah uh, t uh, talk, t turn off your mic would you oh, yeah. jeff that's there's a buy in turn there it, turn it off turn the mic that's off <laughs> jeff can you hear me that's it you see he can't even hear me hold on a second i know what i can do mute okay <laughs> Muted. There we go. Anyway. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think that's the direction it's heading. And and look, I, I mean, I think I've read a little bit of articles today about, you know, some can I mean, there are obviously, obviously qualified, you know, black women. And it is certainly, you know, about time, you know. I mean, there's there's no doubt. I just don't mm -hmm. like the fact that you have to say, well, that's what we're going to limit it to or what. I mean, maybe he didn't really say that, I guess. I mean, but he just kind of made clear that that's his preference. I, I mean, I'm no, just he didn't make clear it was his preference. He said, "Am I right, you know, Charlie?" He pretty much said, "This is what I'm going to do." Right? Yeah, he said it. Yeah. yeah, he he wouldn't have got elected if he didn't say it in that debate. Well, yeah, it was a it was a campaign point. Uh, uh, I heard uh, last night Jimmy um, Kimmel said that he had the perfect candidate for the job. Uh, who was the woman who went after uh, 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 Anita Hill? Anita Hill. Yeah. He suggested Anita Hill, and he said, "I'm not joking." He said that would be terrific. He yeah, said because be she'd get the job, and then she'd come to work and be have to. He'd yeah. have to. Look, Clarence Thomas would have to look her in the face every day, and she yeah. just goes, "Hi, <laughs> here I am." Uh, yeah. It's also a way that Biden could make up for his absolutely crappy behavior back in the day during those yeah. hearings yeah so i'm 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 voting for anita hill she's a lawyer she knows the law you know in fact she teaches it if i'm not mistaken uh, yeah she's uh, a professor she's yeah. a professor and uh, quite frankly why not give it to her you screw you screwed her out of her her day in speaking before the committee uh, biden uh years ago yes uh uh, uh yeah, the only thing I have about that is that uh, Trump appoints Amy Coney Barrett, who's 48 years old. We're going to apply Anita, appoint Anita Hill in her 60s. <laughs> so we, we really need somebody well, younger. Uh, I think. Well, then why, yeah. why, since she's studying for the bar, why don't we just give the job to uh, Kim Kardashian? <laughs> you know, because she's no. young enough that she lived to see a long term. There's plenty of young. Yeah, who's, the, who's the vice president over there? What? No. Move Kamala Harris. I, okay. That I, can't work anyway. What'd you say? This is a, it can't be Kamala Harris because then we wouldn't have our 51st vote. Well, yeah. You're right. Yeah. You're right. I don't, think, I don't even think she could vote for herself. You know, I don't think. No, she couldn't vote. Yeah. Well, hmm. the Republicans might be happy to get rid of her. Yeah, they probably would. Yeah, they wouldn't be happy to have her on the Supreme Court, though. Yeah, yeah. probably not. You know, I mean, there's a there's a leading lady there, I think, that Kentanji Brown Jackson. Yeah, that looks like, like the one that's going to get it. Yeah, I mean, you know, the, I'm. Uh, they're just, I mean, the 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 people on the left, you know, <coughs> really are in love with her and 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 all that. I mean, you know, the right does the same thing. They get these people. They they love um you know and are really pushed so you know i'm sure that's well i think for the way in the which direction the, that it's the headed, way in which biden you know. treated anita hill during the clarence thomas hearings which was appalling just appalling yeah. he owes this to her you know <laughs> i'm i'm serious she, she, she doesn't want it though she she wouldn't take it well let her turn it down first 
Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, at least offer it to her. That's your way of making up for past grievances. You know, yeah. because I always thought very crappy. Uh, the, the one thing I always held against Biden was what he did to her in those hearings, which was appalling, just appalling. Um, and I'm just amazed that, you know, uh, that uh, that Thomas even got confirmed. You it know, it was close. It mm. was it was close, but no cigar. You know, so. And so I mean, we'll we'll see. I mean, I'm sure that's the direction that it's headed. You know, so. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I think they can get that done. I mean, you yeah. know, and look, I mean. Rightfully so. I mean, look, you know, for people who want to complain, even if, if they don't like her, I, I well, mean, I, look, I'm I sorry. hope they get I mean, somebody you know? somebody good on the Supreme Court because, uh, for all I know, my rent case is going to wind up there at the rate it's been That's going. Possible. You know, the latest yeah. is our, uh, our our landlord doesn't want to give us the lease we are supposed to have. <laughs> so we're going to have to probably go to the judge and then it's going to have to be, oh, it's just, it just keeps going on. So I imagine that eventually it'll get to the Supreme Court at the rate it's been going, you know. They don't take things like that, do they? Unless they perhaps involve a racial yeah, I don't, question. I don't, I don't think you'd have much chance of getting that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Maybe. If yeah. you tell them who you are, you might. It's, it's yeah. possible. Yeah. They, they tell heard, them you're from Gabnet. Yeah, right. They, yeah. they heard that case about the high school kid that held up the uh, the sign bong hits for Jesus. That went all the way all the way to the Supreme Court. Really? Did, yeah, yeah, bong hits for Jesus. <laughs> well, what, what did they do? Did they bust him for that or something? Well, yeah, he, he I guess he got kicked. He got suspended from high school for, for doing that. Mm-hmm. So he sued the high school for free speech or something, and it went all the way to the Supreme Court. And how did how did they judge on that? I'm not sure. I just love the bit bong hits for Jesus going to the Supreme Court. Do you remember that case at all, Josh? No, I do not. Oh, okay. Google right. it. Yeah. I do not remember. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll have to see what happens with this whole thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure there'll be a. You know a big fight over it but i hope there's not i mean i i mean you know if the person is qualified and you know sort of in bounds at all i mean presidents you know generally get who they want i mean you know after some of the shit trump pulled with his i mean you know this is a free one for <laughs> well, you, you, had, you had a mean. guy you had a guy but, who you know literally accused of fucking stalin yeah. on the court if he wants to at this point well i mean trump uh you know trump uh, had a guy who was being accused of rape yeah you know oh uh, you get that kind of uh, onus on you and i think maybe it's not a good idea to uh, confirm them or affirm them i mean or, yeah. my hope yeah, i mean look I don't mind the the hearing, and I don't even mind the serious fight that they would have if if it is actually serious. What I don't want is a fucking a circus, okay? I don't want a fucking circus, and I don't want stunts and all that. I mean, if you have judicial, philo- philosophical differences with that person, and you want to hash that out in a serious conversation, in a hearing or in private or whatever and have at it because that's the way a government is supposed to work mm-hmm. but if it's just going to be a circus or stunts or you just want to go and meet the press and say oh if this person is appointed it's just the end of this and this and this. i mean i don't i don't have time or care for any of that from anybody you know and that's sort of what supreme court nominations anymore have become yeah. So I hope that is. I hope that we can start to get away from that. Jeff. That kid who uh, went to court. Mm-hmm. He lost. He lost. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Just got that from my source over here. Yeah. Oh. Well, your source is a lawyer, so she. You know. She's That's pro- right. Yeah. Probably aware. But of she that. looked it up on Google, so you know. You're down in Florida, right? We sure are. Yeah, you enjoying it? Yeah, 
I mean, today was a beautiful day. No, just it shut the fuck up, long will long. you? It was. It's gonna snow. Right now, long. right it's, now it's thirty it's degrees snowing and snowing like crazy at home, right? The, well, no, it's, it, it says it's, tomorrow, it's gonna snowing snow like here, crazy. but I haven't looked out the window to see. What what part of yeah, Florida? Yeah, well, good. Don't. What part of Florida are you in, Jeff? Uh, what's the town we're in, Pam? West Palm Beach. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, well, it, good. I'm glad you're there because it's snowing in Miami right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> There's a good chance uh, it's going to snow in New York, some kind of weather bomb. No, no, they, will you stop at the weather bomb? Who came up with weather bomb? <laughs> I don't know. What What is this with a weather bomb? We started it out here with the cyclone bomb. Crap. Cyclone bomb, not weather bomb. Yeah. Wait, wait, all of a sudden, a new term comes into play, and then everybody uses it. You know, and 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 so we have it's weather. Probably fake news, huh? It's probably fake news. No, it's, it isn't a question of fake news. It's fake weather. You know, but uh, and how is it up in uh, Canada? Is it cold up there, uh, Trucker Steve? Uh yeah. Or shall we call you former trucker, Steve? Yeah, former trucker, Steve. Where's yeah. Rocky? He's not. Uh, up what's trucker? He's upstairs. He's upstairs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, how's your health doing, by the way? You doing okay? Uh, I'm okay. Yeah. I'm doing okay. Yeah. Um, got some appointments to get the process of uh, getting a transplant done. Mm -hmm. A cardiogram and an uh, ultrasound, and I have to go for a glucose test or something. Mm -hmm. uh, I, you guys been paying attention to the uh, trucker convoy going on up here? Yeah, I heard. Before we go any further, though, wait a second, then I'll come back to you. Uh, Brian, what's wrong with I you? I know, I know. He's in the twilight <clears throat> zone. Do, do you have maybe do you have maybe like one of those privacy flaps on there? I know, I know, I don't know what that's going on. It's a video of his colonoscopy. <laughs> Just... It looks yourself. good, Brian. Talk yeah. amongst yourselves. Purple hole. What okay. We well, have no polyps. Yeah. Where's this wire going? <laughs> <laughs> Where's this wire going? Uh, anyway, uh, trucker Steve. So with this thing, yeah, it's in Canada, and the Canadian truckers are protesting. Mm -hmm. What are they protesting? They are going after Trudeau. Over what in particular? Hello, Brian. Because they're sick of the fucking mandates. Mm -hmm. Everybody here is done. We're tired of it. It's yeah. been two fucking years and not already. Yeah. But so, do, that's it. it. Do, do you, you don't believe, I take it you don't believe in the mandates. No, I think they're stupid. Oh, 2,600 Americans died every day in the last week. How many? 18,225 Americans died the last seven days. It is not over. I'm sick of people saying it's over. People are dying out there. Boy, you, you're, you, I've never heard you that mad before, and I've never heard Trucker Steve that invigorated before uh, on something. Well, Bill Maher was ridiculous uh, uh, last Friday. What? Why? Because he was saying it's over. He's sick of, the, of, the, of COVID. Well, you know, just He's because, done with COVID. Well, look, COVID's not done with you. Yeah, to begin with, the fact that you're sick of it is, it, the, is not the excuse why we stop doing it, okay? Right. We stop doing it because there are, precious few cases and we don't need to be as cautious all right uh but i i understand where the truckers up there are getting frustrated because this is their living right steve yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. and well, uh, but the and drivers spend most of their time in the truck yeah very little of it is outside would you be against all truckers having to take covid tests in order to drive I don't see why. Why not? I mean, they can still to avoid spreading COVID because they can still. Yeah. Wait, the wait. thing is, though, up here, our premier, okay, mm -hmm. they let a, a bunch of our nurses, health staff go. They laid them off because they wouldn't get uh, the vaccine, mm -hmm. 
and now they're hiring them back. And they said, you can have test positive for COVID, but as long as you're asymptomatic, it could still work. Oh boy, do you buy that? Uh, do you They're buy doing that, that around Alan? here too? Do you buy that theory, Alan? They're doing that in some places in this country too. They're so short on doctors and nurses. <clears throat> if they're asymptomatic and they can work, keep them covered up with PPE, you know, the mask and the shield, and let them work. Are you so, against the use of masks? Absolutely not. Uh, no, I'm not you, uh, uh, Steve. Oh, Steve, are you against the use of masks? I wear them up here. Yeah, because yeah. you have to. Well, but as soon as I go outside, I take it off. The, I, outside, you're a little, lot safer. I will agree with that. But uh, you are immune, probably immune compromised, aren't you? With the with the kidney problems and so Definitely on. Definitely high risk. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, probably, but I I'm fine. I've gone through the whole thing. Yeah. Without getting. It. Yeah, well, I've gone through the whole thing without getting it too, but I'm still very careful about it. Yeah. I mean, my question is, isn't true part of Trudeau's job to protect the Canadian public? Yep. And that this this health crisis is something where the job comes with it to protect the public and that he's doing it in the best way he sees possible. I mean, why is he being made to be the villain in this scenario? Because a lot of people don't like him up here. Well, that, that in fact, you don't like him is not the reason that you aren't going to have good health protocols. You know, um, I just I just think that uh, I heard a story today. Sarah Palin, do you hear this thing about Sarah Palin? No. Uh, she yeah. tested positive for a for AIDS. She tested probably for that too. It tested positive for COVID. And uh, the reason, and then she went to the judge in the case she has against the New York Times and says, you have to stave off the beginning of the trial because I've been tested positive for COVID. And then that night went to a restaurant. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I had to get a restaurant. Well, I mean, you know, I understand that you, you have your questions about this and you're protesting it and so on, but do you really have to make, a, when you know that you ha, are at least, perhaps you can infect other people, do you really want to go somewhere and inflict it upon them? You know, yes. Yeah, when, when, when I got the, my positive uh, e email, you know, I got tested at Kaiser, mm -hmm. Kaiser and then I, I get the email, and the email says, you don't have to um, quarantine if you've been boosted. You know, it said if you don't, if you've been boosted, and you don't have to quarantine. And you have the no, city, and you have no symptoms. Yeah, but then the city says you must quarantine no matter what. And and then the and then uh, Kaiser notifies the city, so the city sends me a, a survey asking me where to, where I work you know who i've been around you know and everything it was just like uh you know total you know two san, two san francisco is one of the first cities in the state of california they're going to lower their masking mandate february 1st yeah uh, well how infected is san francisco now uh positivity rate around 15 percent the high was about 19 percent it's not the so, time to do it coming down but it's still very risky here i think we've we've uh, we've gone down a great deal in new york city still risky huh still very risky i i think we're down i think you're i think you're around nine percent positivity rate. really which is going in the right direction i remember when we had 0.5 positivity we had lowered it that low i remember that about here too and then all these other versions came out like a month ago. Now, don't we have a new, new, uh, new version of Omicron out there? Yeah, yeah they're they're yeah. not thinking that it's going to cause a problem. Yeah, I think it was, it was discovered in Santa Clara, wasn't it? Somewhere in California. Yeah, but it's not a it's a, a variant of interest, but not of concern. 
hmm. concern, meaning that it can infect, infect people and stuff. It's been going around. 600 people have tested positive in the United States for it, but it's been here for over a month. I think so. Kevin is the is the guy who's been passing it around, if you want my opinion. <laughs> Watch it, I've got more in this drawer right here. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I'm telling you. Fuck with me, I'm gonna pass it around. It's just that I was I was mentioning to Marjorie tonight about, you know, Sarah Palin and I'm going, you know, the only reason you don't go to a restaurant, okay? is out of your respect for other people. Whatever yeah. happened to our caring and respect for other people that we've turned this into a personal issue? Uh, the Republicans jumped all over California when Gavin Newsom was in a restaurant in Napa, you know, in the middle of this thing six months ago. Or oh, oh, he ago. was an asshole for doing that. Absolutely. Yeah. But now that now the Democrats have a Republican that did it. Yeah, yeah. Because we're all human beings. Well, Mike, do you know where you, do you know where you think you got it, or do you think you know where you got it, John? John? Oh, um, well, you know, I work at the I work at these you know events, you know, at the Warfield and the Current Theater, so probably from one of those shows. But um, yeah, I was working at the the Harry Potter show got closed down because the cast members came down with it, uh, so that's maybe that's where I got it from. Yeah. Uh, did they? Um, um, uh, they called it the Hogwarts variation. You know yeah, that? something yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh, 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 did you wear a mask at those events? Of course. Oh yeah, totally. And everybody gets checked, you know, to to make sure everybody's been boosted, you know. What what kind of mask did you wear? Just one of the. Um, I'll show you. N95s. Yeah. Really. Yeah, they gave them. They get. The the um, house passed them out to everybody. Well, is that a is that an N95? Yeah. Well, how if it goes around your ears? How if it, it goes it around says, your ears? It says it's a KN95. Yeah, that's different. KN95. That's the Chinese version of 90, yeah. N95. Uh, well, that's pretty good. Some are fake, some are real. See, there's your uh, over the ear one, Alex. Yeah. Okay, but that's an N95 technically. It's a KN95. 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 China's version. Well, China version. What, it's what, not supposed to be as, as secure as the N95. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, I, you know, I don't know. How tight do I have to have them around my face? Till I smother? Yeah, those those N95 ones with the two wraps on the... Those things are like... Fuck, you can barely breathe out of those. Yeah. Go ahead. I, quickly. I have, quickly. Put, put it on there. They're like $5 show, each. Show them how fast yeah, you can do it. Uh, show them how fast you can do it. I'll send you some, Charlie. Here we go. 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 Oh, I see. Okay. He's been practicing since last night. Well, I wear it all the time. I mean, why not? Why do you wear it all the time? Where do you wear it? Uh, well, not in the house. But, uh, and not in the when car. I go to, when I go, tomorrow, I'm going to see the doctor. I mean, there's a lot of sick people there. Some mentally and some otherwise, but you know, or if I go into Costco, I think one of the problems is that we're not. I know there's a lot of people dying, but a lot of things have not gone back to how they were when we we're in COVID before. Oh. But uh, hospitals have loosened up a lot. You're talking about the hospitals, I remember going there to pick up a prescription when they were really dialing in. I mean, Home Depot, Home Depot was only letting so many people in. Same with Costco. And now here, this is picked up so high, and they don't care. They 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 still let you know as many people in Costco, and the Home Depot, and all those stores. They just let everybody in again. So, it's how how, how people taking it seriously? Well, in all deference to 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 Steve, uh, I mean, how much have we learned about COVID that we know that these things we do actually are effective? Well, we you know, know masking is effective because it's working. We know that the vaccination is effective to yep. a point. Doesn't mean you're not going to be able to get it, but you can get a breakthrough version of it. Yep. But you're not going to wind up in the hospital. Same thing with masks. Die. You're not. And you're not I'm you're afraid all, of dying. Yeah. They're all they're all parts of a toolbox. You get the vaccine. You get the booster. You wear a good mask. You social distance. You hand wash. Can I go into a Can I go into a pharmacy now and get my a fourth shot if I want it? 
Israel found that it, it didn't do any good against Omicron. They tested people when they came out with the study. CDC published Yeah, but it. I, I, I see where it said that if you're six months or later since you got your, uh, what do you call it? Your, uh, you haven't got your fourth shot. Your fourth your shot. shot. My, four, my third shot, rather. I got I got mine two days after the CDC approved it, so that's not even, that's like four months well, ago. Well, so let, let, me, let me see here. When does it say that I got mine? Hold, hold on a second. Oh, uh, if you make a fake vac vaccination card with only two shots on there and say you're going for your third, but it's really your fourth, then you can go for your fourth. <laughs> okay, vaccination mm -hmm. details. I got my, I got my third shot. Um, dip, 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 dip. I got my first shot on 12, 1, 20, 21, and my second one on 2, 27, 21. And, oh, here we go, the third shot. Uh, 9, 8, 21. So that's not six months Next yet. Next month. Yeah. Yeah. Next month will be four months. Next month will be four months? <laughs> sure. Okay, so six months will be two months after that. So yeah. we're going March, what, April. What, what they're concerned about right now is I think I would wait there. You know, some of these uh, Moderna and Pfizer are coming out with um, uh, Omicron specific. And by the time they get it tested, that'll be six months. Timing is a big issue. If you get it too early, just like a lot of vaccines, if you get them too early, like the, <coughs> like the uh, what's it called? Shingles. Shingles vaccine, you got to have it between two and six months, the second shot. Is that if a single, it, how many, how, how many uh, single uh, shingle shots do you have to get? Do you have to get a single shingle shot? No. That's cute. No. Say that two. three times fast. Single shingle shot. <laughs> I almost called it scales instead of shingles, but in any case. So um, you have to have it separated, and that's part of the science. When so, I first heard about shingles, uh, well, I actually got it once ouch yeah well in, in the eye the eye oh, here god and, that's the worst and i was a couple blind i yeah i was a couple of days from going blind wow. but i went to a doctor up in mendocino uh, a friend of mine worked for a doctor who recommended uh, marijuana as his business but he also was a good doctor and he told me ah oh, you've got shingles and i he went and got me pills to take to stop it okay and that was fine but he said one one more day, two more days, I could have gone blind in that eye, you know. So I mean, uh, 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 shingles, shingles are very painful around the around the midsection, but around the eye it causes blindness. What what about around the midsection? What does it do? It can it, it just forms little blisters. <coughs> blisters. Yeah. Thank you. By the way, I heard a great joke today. I heard a great joke today, and I should tell it before I forget it. I was watching an interview with uh, Jack Parr by Dick Cavett. Talk about two old fossils, okay? <coughs> but Parr was very funny, and he they were talking about, you know, people who work for networks and do, uh, do surveys and uh, check the ratings and see where the ratings are going and so on and so forth. And he said, well, you know, this story one, it's about three dogs, uh, uh, three kind of, uh, uh, what do we call it? mutts, uh, and they're all jumping over a barbed wire fence. And the first one goes over and he's fine and clears it. The second one goes over it and clears it again. The third one goes and hits the barbed wire with his nuts and completely shears off his penis. And, and as he's lying there, the dogs went, what happened? He said, my gonads have been attacked by that barbed wire. I, I don't think I'll ever be able to have sex again. And I was such a, such a good lover, too. I mean, I was just one of the best mutts ever to go out there and uh, chase bitches. I was just the best there ever was. What am I going to do now? And one of the dogs looked down and go, well, you could always become a consultant. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a great joke. Especially on the uh, Dick Cavett show. Yeah. Well, he he told it nicer <laughs> than I just told it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. He said his his private parts. I think is how, yeah. he, how he told the story. Uh, but uh, God, that must have hurt. Hmm. Yeah, that's all I could think of. God, that must have hurt. It's not a true story. It's a joke. Duh. Okay. Anyway. So anyway, so uh, the what uh, what are the truck drivers going to do up there in Canada about the mandate? They're going to they're gonna stay in Ottawa until the mandates are 
stopped. So what they're going to do is not go on the road. Yeah, you got they. They're coming in from the east, the west. Mm-hmm. You got Amer- some American drivers coming up there too. Yeah, but don't you, um, if you if you are a driver and you want to go into the United States, don't you have to show proof that you've been vaccinated? Mm-hmm. Okay. So how is that? Uh, is, uh, then are they pro- protesting that? Well, yeah, it's not just the trucker mandate. It's all mandates, everybody. Mm-hmm. It's all of them. I mean, I know we're all sick of it. You know, I'm sick of it. Brian's sick of it, and Brian makes a living out of it, you know. Uh, but uh, 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 we're all sick of it. But yeah, it's just it's the times in which we live, you know. It just pisses me off because the way we got rid of polio and the way we got rid of smallpox was by everybody getting vaccinated. That's why we don't have to worry about that now. Yep. You yep. want to get back to normal? Fuck everybody, get vaccinated. Then we'll be back to normal. I think yeah. as a, I think as a as a species we're get we're getting more stupid, you know. Yeah. Well, you I know? mean, the thing is though, this vaccine is not that great. Well, but it's better than dying. Still, I'm you a, can still get vaccinated and still get sick. No, no you, 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 you. Yeah, but your odds are much better of you of living if you get vaccinated. Way, there, way higher. Well, wait a I think there'd be a lot more deaths if there was no vaccine. That's yeah. right. Yeah, I mean, the, the, yes, the vaccine doesn't work a hundred percent. That's right. But what when you, if you do get it, if you do get it, it's not going to be deadly like it was before the vaccine. So the what it's done it's not, is it, what? The reason it's not a hundred percent is because they keep getting these mutations. We get these variants. The reason we get these variants is because it's still out there. People because get not enough vaccinated people are getting and it's vaccinated. not out there anymore. They won't get these mutations. You're right. Yeah. Everybody gets vaccinated, then we don't get mutated. Well, have we given up on uh, herd immunity? Yep. We yeah, have. because not, not enough people get vaccinated. Okay. Yep. Are you are you vaccinated, uh, 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 Steve? Mm-hmm. Okay. I have three. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, if you get it, it's it, like, for instance, okay, I'll give you an example. Uh, my our, our, One of our best friend's husband's. Uh, is in a nursing home because he came down with some problems and, you know, he needed a nursing home. And in the nursing home, he came down with, it turns out he tested positive for COVID and he had the uh, uh, the the vaccine. Uh, the worst he got were sniffles. All right? But that was it. And that's why you want to get the vaccine. The vaccine is effective. Absolutely. It certainly is kept. Uh, it, it, Proven it, around the world. Not if, if it didn't country. work, if it didn't work, we'd be over, a, what, a, a million in this country now for deaths. I'm sure. Easily. By now. It's over three million. Probably so. Yeah. So. You if know. I didn't get it, I'd be on your show right now on a ventilator. Yeah. <laughs> Very possible. But the fact that you got it is good because you're on our show. Yeah, because you're not going to work. <laughs> oh, that's that's uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, now you had... hear about uh, hmm? Neil Young? Yeah. Yes. That, that's good. I, I was happy to hear that. But you know. Yeah, but you know what? Spot. Here's what happened. In case people don't know, Neil Young told Spotify, who plays his music, "Stop playing my music unless you get rid of Joe Rogan." Yeah, thank you. Uh, because that's Joe true. Rogan is, he said, passing misinformation about COVID uh, and it's dangerous and I don't want to be associated with an organization that uh, did I just see somebody there oh there she is Uh, (laughs) (laughs) she's been doing that for like two minutes here we go such a show there we go (laughs) you know you're going to have to buy her a poll sometime soon you know that, don't you? There we go. Da, 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 da,
We we have no doors. We have no doors. We're doing construction. They just took all of our new doors off the hinges to do painting, so there's like dust everywhere. Oh my god, it's so terrible. Yeah, yeah. I just saw a big, big, big. We saw it when you came in. A big fuzzball on back of you, bouncing up and down. So I, yeah. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Um, uh, <laughs> Something about Joe Rogan and uh, yeah. Neil Young. Joe Rogan. I can't even close. I can't close the door and lock her out like I usually do. <laughs> <laughs> she knows it too. And she comes in. It's on a regular basis. She's like got it timed. There we go. It's like on a timer switch. And now she's gonna yeah. stop any moment now. And she's oh. got rhythm. <laughs> And now she's gonna go outside, okay, and then enough, she's gonna enough, come back. Enough. Here we go. Okay. Bye. You want ice cream? Did you get ice cream? Yeah. Go get ice cream. I did. Okay. Bye. Well, tried the ice cream. That thing. didn't work either, huh? <laughs> wouldn't another okay. Wouldn't another ice cream sound good? Yeah. You want another ice cream? <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna have to lock her up. Already wired up enough. Okay, Aww. we're trying to do a show. I'll, uh, I'll send you some handcuffs. Okay, say goodnight. Say goodnight, Gracie. No, bye, 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 bye. No, we gotta finish the show. Come on, go. go, go, go. <laughs> okay, just ignore her. Okay, we'll ignore her. We'll 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 blur her out in post. Oh yeah, I can. <laughs> the- Oh. <laughs> that was a good good way of getting rid of her. Anyway, what I was going to say is um, that uh, uh, that Rogan, uh, they they stood up for Rogan. They're just saying, okay, well then we won't play your music. Well, maybe we don't have to listen to Spotify, huh? Yeah. Like we, I have all our shows on Spotify, <laughs> and I checked it today, and they're there. Spotify is paying. Joe Rogan like a hundred million bucks and no like, no Neil Young, um, yeah Neil million Young doesn't make anything from that from his music probably you know he doesn't make that much what is he gets like two cents for yeah song. well I mean I I have all our shows on Spotify and I was thinking just in protest I'd take them all off I mean we don't get that many people watching on Spotify anyway to so close them down. so why shouldn't we you yeah, know for sure um uh uh, I, you know, I think uh, Neil Young was right in doing that, and I think Spotify was wrong in not somehow telling Rogan, "Look, you know, I'm sure it's somewhere in the contract where he doesn't have completely free reign to say anything he wants to say, and that they have a right to protect the public against uh, things that he was saying that just aren't true." For sure, you know, it's phony science. Uh, and not That's based. Too bad Rogan's on not in uh, China. They just arrest him and probably kill him. Yeah. So I mean, you know, um, and and it's not a violation of freedom of speech. It's a question that you're being responsible for the safety of your of your of your. It's like somebody going into a theater and yelling fire. Yeah. 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 You know. It's not a freedom of speech issue. Right. And and Apple Apple should kick Bannon off of their podcast shows. They should kick who? Bannon, Steve Bannon. Um, you know, I'll tell you something. In As the, an insurrectionist. Okay, hold on a second. In the case of Pod Spot Spotify, they're paying Joe Rogan what is it a million dollars a year? What are they paying him? Uh, hundred million. Hundred million or something, million or something like that. Uh, um, I don't think it's a hundred. Is it a hundred million? Hey, he got like well, I don't know if it's a hundred million a somebody, year, but they somebody. gave him a, like a hundred million contract. Anyway, uh, so that makes them liable, okay? Because he, in essence, is a contracted employee. Yeah. Uh, on the other hand, when you've got somebody like Bannon on a free service, like say Apple iTunes, uh, that's a different story altogether. The question is, do you then censor him simply because his political outlook? It doesn't agree with you, so I don't know. Uh, what What do you think, Josh? Is there a Is there a certain culpability there on the part of Apple? Well, I don't know. I mean, look, there's private, you know, companies that are allowed to put 
people on that even though you may disagree with them or whatever and then you can choose to listen or not listen to them based on that i mean so you know if spotify as a business wants to pay someone to do a podcast or a show and you don't like it then don't use spotify yeah but if if i were for instance if i if i when i was on sirius xm if i were to say something which they felt was going to cause problems okay was problematical which this would come under the if I were to do it today, if I were still there and I started mm-hmm. coming out with all these false claims and so on and so forth, I think they'd probably tell me to shut up. They or, probably or, or might, or, but or, if they didn't, you know, who's to say? I mean, the, the government, you know, doesn't decide there that you need to go, for example. So I guess mm-hmm. what I'm saying is then people should either just not listen to your show Mm -hmm. or if they're that unhappy about it they should just not use Sirius as a delivery device for their entertainment you know so well that's what i'm saying that's why i question whether i want to stay on spotify with all the shows that we have which so you're making that decision okay Mm -hmm. and then other people can make that decision and then neil young would be within his rights to call up and say i don't like you guys anymore take this guy off or take me off and then they are within their rights to say okay well we're keeping him and you can go Mm -hmm. and then everyone as a private individual has made their choice in life and gone on about their business and they're not no i mean no one is being harmed by that now i understand that some people are going to say oh but joe rogan said this and then if you do what he said it'll kill you well again that's well, Look, it, it, there are it, it, in he, life here's the choice in life that, that are made. Ne- oh, Neil Young made one of those choices. Right. He did. You know, I'm not going like to be there. But but it's it's News. but it's a shame. It's a shame that with all the people that have complained about Rogan and about the misinformation that he's been putting out, that that uh, uh, Spotify hasn't done something. Spotify refuses to do anything where Rogan is concerned. It's almost yeah. like they're intimidated by him, right? You know, and and I think that it's time that they did something about it. You know, that they they tell him, hey, tamp it down. Come on, you know, you're passing some information which may cause some of your listeners and certainly our listeners and our customers uh, uh, no good, and uh, so you mm-hmm. should stop doing that uh, and and tamp it down. Uh, or we're going to yeah. have to, or we're have to not going to have to not run some of your programs. Yeah, and if they choose not to, then you know you're certainly welcome to choose not to pay them to use their services any longer. Well, because they, I mean, look, at some point, yeah. you're going to have to have this long philosophical discussion about who decides what's true and what's not true, and that's not always as easy as you know yeah. people want it to be. Yeah. I mean. Anyway, we, we, we the music's playing. It, it's it, it's the music stuff. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, Kevin, for being here this evening. Mm-hmm. Haven't heard much from you tonight, but that's okay. We just like having you there. You pick, uh, This is like the Hollywood Squares. You're in the uh, the center square tonight is Josh. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then we got Charlie, and we got Alan, and we got Steve. Oh, it's always good to see you, Steve, because we like to know that your your health is okay. Uh, and, uh, um, uh, of course, uh, John Larkin. Uh, we love having you here. To, you know, work less, be on with us more. Uh, we can't pay for it, but you know. Oh shit! <laughs> and uh, Jeff, thank you, and of course, thanks to Kevin, and uh, not Kevin, but Brian, and his. <laughs> and, and, they look so much alike. <laughs> and his lovely, and his lovely um, uh, puppet there called. <laughs> that's what she looked like, you know. Uh, She's adorable, but get your doors back soon, will you? Yeah, uh, I need privacy. Uh, you, you need some privacy. I mean, how the hell are you going to jerk off in that room? You know? What the hell? <laughs> she was in the room, Alex. It's impo- no, it's impossible for him to do that. He can't lock the door and watch his porn. You know, come on. Every exactly. man's got to have that, right? right? Thanks, everybody. Boy, it's been fun tonight. Give yourself a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye uh, right as, with you, okay. There they go, ladies and gentlemen. Let me turn on my my camera. 
Okay, that's it for tonight. That's our. Uh, that's all she wrote. Uh, let me see here. Let me get rid of them. Okay, there we go. There. We're okay. Now we're. I think a little bit more in sync and stuff. I, I don't know. I thought I had this whole sync problem solved, but apparently I do not. But who cares? Anyway, listen. Uh, Jack Bishop is next over most of the same gab net. Okay. He's next, and I'm frozen. Oh, look at that, folks. I'm frozen. I am frozen. I am frozen, and everything else is frozen here, too. Oh, there we go. All right, now I'm not frozen. Uh, Jack Bishop is next over most of the same station. I'll get out of here fast before I have to worry about uh, freezing up again. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow night, same 1030, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, should you see her... Please tell her I love her. And uh, by the way, get vaccinated if you aren't. If you're not vaccinated, wear a mask. If you don't wear a mask, don't look, don't breathe in my face. Night, everybody.